And flip. So in this episode, we have this box, a bunch of letters, and this package all the way from the UK. All kinds of crazy stuff. I'm the best fans on the planet. You guys are insane. You guys are just nuts. All the stuff you send me every single week. If you want to send me your fan mail, the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma 74055. And if you want cards signed and sent back to you, then be sure to stamp and address an envelope in with your card so I have something to send them back in, which is very, very, very important because uh, this doesn't happen often. Matter of fact, this is the longest this has happened ever in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! fan mail for however long I've been doing it. Um, I have an Evil Sword Mophion, an Evil Sword Lagia, and an Archlord Christia. These cards I obviously signed and sent to somebody, and either I wrote the address wrong or they wrote their address wrong. Uh, either way, you know, it was there was not an envelope in with the cards, you know, already addressed and stamped. So I, you know, used one of my stamps, which is all, you know, also not a problem. I don't mind using you no know, stamps and stuff, but it's very, very important to make sure that addresses are written down, right? So, if these are your cards, I'm not trying to single anybody out. I'm just saying it's very, very important, and I, I don't want this to happen to anybody else. But if these are your cards, yeah, message me on Facebook so I can get you your stuff back. It's very, very important, guys. Very, very important. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let's start with an envelope. Let's start with one of these envelopes. So this is from a Jonathan Young. Jonathan Young. Let's go ahead, open this up, and see what Jonathan has to say. Ooh, lots of cards. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's keep these all face down. Keep these all face down. Okay, I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Okay, so there's the return envelope. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is an example of a, yeah, this is an example of a perfectly executed return envelope. <laughs> uh, it's stamped. It's addressed. I have their address covered up. There's my P.O. box in the corner right there. This is a perfect example, you know? They, they have their address written. They have a stamp. They have everything in there perfect. And once again, guys, I'm not trying to single out or poke fun of anyone or anything like that, but I am sitting on, you know, someone's cards and they probably missed them and I don't want that to happen to anyone else. So that is the purpose of me, you know, putting extra emphasis on the addresses and stuff like that. But uh, either way, so dear Yugi Dodo, you are my favorite Yugi tuber and will you sign my ancient gear howitzer Fiber Jar and Ether the Heavenly Monarch. So, okay, so Ether the Heavenly Monarch, Fiber Jar, and what do you say? Ancient Gear Howitzer, okay. The rest of the cards are yours to keep. Thank you for being awesome. Uh, hey, yeah, dude, definitely. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for your cards. P.S. All Hail Larvae Moth. Oh, yeah. That's a video I have planned this week, or next week is is the expansion on that. Oh, oh, the hype is real, the hype is real. But we have a Fiber Jar, Aether the Heavenly Monarch, and an Ancient Gear Howitzer. Very, very cool, very, very cool. And he gave me the Infernal Flame Emperor, which is an Ultra Rare. This is a very, very old <laughs> Ultra Rare, guys. Then we have a Dragon Master Knight and a Thousand Eyes Restrict. Thousand Eyes Restrict, always welcome in this house. This is a house of goats. This is a house of goats. This is a house of playing, you know, good Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Anyway, it's like, I mean, I don't completely dislike modern Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not, that's not the case at all. It's just that, you know, old Yu-Gi-Oh is, uh, let's be real, it's funner to play. It's like, <laughs> it's way, way funner to play. But dude, thank you so much for the cards. I have these now signed. Well, I guess I got, got to sign one more. Okay, now they're all signed. I will be sure to get these right back to you. Thank you so much for your mail. Next, I guess let's open this package up. This package is from, from M M N. So MN, MN's either Minnesota or Montana or one of those places. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. So, or Maine? Is it Maine? Or I thought Maine was like M-A. Or, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a statologist, guys. I'm not a statologist. Well, lots of cards, what? So lots of cards and top loaders. That is everything out of that. So just lots of cards and top loaders in a bubble mailer and then this really, oh, so the, the return address is covered up at the bottom. Okay, so, dear Yugi no, no, yes, yes, perhaps, perhaps, maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes, indeed, indeed, on occasion, on occasion. Woo, have a long name. <laughs> I've been watching your channel for a while now and I really enjoy watching the content that you provide. Your openings and skits are amazing and show th that your great powers have no limits. I actually recently started playing competitively since last year right after Monarch format, which I regret because it seemed like it was a great a great format and I should have started sooner. Yeah, it's one of my favorite formats. My first big event that I played at and got a real sense of the competitive play was y YCS Minneapolis. So it is Minnesota, hey! And I uh, played Dark Synchro with Quasars, which is my favorite deck of all time. Rest in peace, Gofu. I am sad that the deck has been hit, but, uh, uh, but it certainly won't be dead as long as Level Eater isn't banned, especially with Crystal Needle Fiber coming 
coming out in the Link Vrains pack. Christrons also happen to be a favorite of mine that I have uh, played and is not that affected by Link format because they can either incorporate the Frog Engine or to make a Meek Star Boy, or you can play Pure and run Magnet Reverse, a spell card that can revive the Machine Synchros. Yeah, uh, didn't didn't uh, what Cosmos play that card for a little bit, or maybe maybe it was maybe Magnet Reverse, ABCs, or Cosmos played it. Maybe both decks played it for a little bit. But anyways, however, I have to acknowledge that they cannot withstand the power of Cyber Dragons because they are machines. And now that there is a Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, you can't even make a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon without not, without it dying. The best you could do is make a Cyframe Frame Lord Omega and banish it so it doesn't die and, and, and have a Mirror Force or possibly hope you have a Dimensional Barrier or Non-Fusion Barrier. Can I ask your opinion of the deck outside of the Cyber Dragon matchup? I have uh, some petite mods for you in the Dark Magician sleeves. <laughs> Sorry, no larvae mods. Um, I am not worthy of their raw power. And the other card I would like you to sign. I can't wait when the new insect uh, support comes out so you can increase the consistency of the larvae moth deck to make it even more broken. Just asking, but would you consider using an insect insector uh, Pico Farina? Yeah, yeah, maybe. It is, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Because it's like it's uh, its effect is like generic for insects, wasn't it? Yeah, the Link Monster. Yeah, definitely run it in Larvae Moth, absolutely. Uh, it is easy to make because you can play Rescue Rabbit to summon two petite moths from the deck, or you could use it use unexpected die. Yes, yeah, very, very true. Um, when you can recycle back the petite moths to make your uh, uh, the rescue rabbits uh, live for future plays. Um, whatever you decide shall be the most broken but i hope this helps in constructing the best deck of all time thank you for all that you have done for this community and i can't wait for the future content that you will bring to all of your subscribers and fans sincerely nick hammerschmidt p.s you can to actually keep all the cards in the magician sleeves oh so okay well thank you very 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 much so um as far as my thoughts on like christians i never really played the deck it seems like you really really like synchros a lot i actually like cyframes a lot you mentioned omega i like cyframes as a synchro deck because it's like uh, it's kind of like this stun anti-meta synchro deck, which is what I like. Um, uh, but I played zombies back in the day. As far as like synchros go, like I played like uh, Mally. You know, it was, it was Beals Turbo, really, is what it was. It was Beals, you know, Avoid Ogre Dragon Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's really really all it was but as for these cards to sign he said to keep the ones in the magician sleeves So there's the magician sleeves and yeah, so and this is another example guys I'm not gonna try to single him out, but this is like um, Typed the address is typed under this. This is also fine. Like I said earlier I don't mind you know using you know one of my stamps or anything like that I prefer not to because you know I, I don't want to have to keep going to the store to buy stamps all the time But what's crucial here is that he typed its address. It's very very legible so that I can make sure to get his cards back to him um, you know, you could also send a stamp, you know, some people like will just like send like, you know, just like they'll cut out like a stamp still, you know, stuck to the paper that it comes in, you know, on the on the flat that, you know, when talking about like the book that it comes in, um, they'll like cut out a stamp and like send it to me and that and that works too, you know, anything, anything works. But yeah, so there's the magician ones. I, I'm not, I'm not going to spend the whole video ranting and <laughs> raving guys, but I, I'm just, you know, I just really want everyone to have their stuff back. That's all. But uh, Chris Drons, so we have some Chris Drons stuff. Uh, so a lot of Christians, and then uh, Gofu the uh, Gofu the Vague Shadow. Yeah, too bad that's at one now. So just like a whole Christian deck, basically this dude's whole Christian deck. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I never really got into Christians. I thought, you know, honestly, I thought that they were going to be a big thing when they were first announced. I thought that they were going to bring back synchros. I thought that was going to be like the big synchro deck, kind of like how. Um, you know, Shadals were like the big fusion deck, Necros were like the big ritual deck. I thought that Christians were going to be like the synchro deck, and then that didn't really, didn't really happen much for him, did it? <laughs> it just kind of didn't really happen for him. Uh, synchros just kind of, uh, they're just kind of there. They're kind of there as a mechanic, you know? They, they've definitely, you know, synchros have evolved as a mechanic, but um, they're not as just, I just don't view the mechanic as being as, you know, versatile as like, you know, the XE's mechanic or any of the rest of them. But dude, uh, let's get these signed. All right, dude, those are all signed, and just an F. FYI, you probably got either, I mean, it either is or close to it, like my perfect signature on that green one. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I just got it all, like, I got it perfect that time. That was really, really, really good. Uh, because, you know, I can't even sign my own name. <laughs> but, anyways, dude, hey, thank you for the cards. Hey, so would Princess Sprite. Um, you know, uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, get you guys, like, too revved up or anything. But this is going to be in the Cyber Dragon build. Uh, you guys are going to be like, what? 
it's like what? what what's a, what's a level one uh, it's crazy it's crazy you, you guys okay I, i'm not gonna get you guys too hyped up okay because that's cruel but just know that it's coming it's coming soon okay it's coming very very soon and speaking of level ones petite moth yes dude thank you so so much that is awesome speaking of which let's get out the larvae moth binder so here is the larvae moth binder let's see how far we are let's see the larvae moth binder like how i said that just cracked me up all right so we have all of these uh gosh there's just so many there's just so many all right so we're gonna finish this page i guess that's perfect so that's two that's two petite moths finishes that page all right all right hopefully we get a lot more petite moths because i want to finish this i want to be done with it <laughs> like it needs to be finished oh my gosh hopefully we'll get it finished by the end of the year that would be way way sick that would be way way sick but dude thank you so much for the cards thank you so much for the princess sprite i actually needed that i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i don't have one thank you that was perfect that was thank you so so much and uh, i have all your chris John stuff signed i'll be sure to get it right back to you all right so next let's open up this box shall we uh where's this even from so this is from um mo so missouri right <laughs> like the md mo whatever oh my gosh just like i'm just gonna get like a mail from every m states and just it's gonna be my worst nightmare <laughs> Like, I'm gonna get like, you know, mail from like Maine, Minnesota, you know, Montana, just like all at the same time. I'm gonna be like, no! Alright, I think I got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's, oh my gosh, no! Mystic Clouds, what is this? So Mystic Clouds, Shining Friendship. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No way. No way. I shouldn't look at these. I shouldn't look at all these. Okay, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have here. So, all this stuff, wow, a lot of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. All right, let's see what this says. All right, so what's up, Yugi No No? Are you ready for round two? Like last time, everything in the uh, in the box is yours. This time, I made some new red packs that I call Care Package Packs. There is also five blue packs that are the same as the ones from last time, and the yellow sleeve has a few extra cards. One of them is a uh, Follow Wind spell card. And I will let you be the judge to determine if it's fake or not. I think it would be funny to start a metal fish binder. I also put some cards that uh, that wasn't in any uh, any sleeves in the box. I can't wait to see you open the packs. Keep up the hard work on YouTube, Josh. What? What? The, what? <laughs> So Josh has sent some stuff in the past. Um, um, don't hate me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure he was the guy that sent me the fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like the initial, like just giant box of fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I got. I'm pretty sure he was the guy that sent them. Um, I don't know if, if these are like custom packs again or if they're like fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. Oh yeah, they are. They are all fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, 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 okay. So we will do this in another video then. Just like lots and lots of fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. How many fake Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh cards do you have, dude? Like, seriously, how many fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards do you have? All right, so, uh, we have Shining Friendship. What is this? So, lots of, uh, so, Follow Wind. Actually, that Follow Wind is real, dude. That Follow Wind is very, very real. That's an LOB. You know what? On second thought, that is very, very interesting. Like, is this real? Because it's got, like, the gold stamp in the bottom. Do I see the eye? Oh, uh, no, that's how you can tell. The eye is not there. All right, so like in the light where you can see like, you know, the Millennium Eye, like, you know, the eye of a, the eye of Horus or whatever it is. <laughs> like, with the Millennium Eye, you should be able to see um, in the reflection of the light, and in this one, you cannot. And you also have the uh, Japanese or Korean logo or whatever it is, like down here in the bottom right on the back. So yeah, this is a fake. Uh, some of these, some of these are more tricky. Yeah, some of these are more tricky. Like, I mean, some are like obviously fakes. Like, uh, well, like one of these. Like, let me just pull one out of the pack real quick. Like that one is obviously, obviously fake. It's like the the cardboard's really, really thin. Like you know, the font is off and continuous magic. You know, like some of these are like obviously fake, and this one doesn't even have anything on the back like at all if you look at that like that one doesn't have anything on the back like at all and then this one is a very very well done fake but it is a fake it is, sadly it is a fake very well done fake but a fake nonetheless all right so i guess i need to put in these uh what what is metal fish i don't i don't know what metal fish is but, <laughs> but let's put these uh mystic clowns up i suppose this is how far we've gotten on it so we have this first page done i guess that's an accomplishment and like this one started like i, I I don't know. I don't know anymore. But that's the Mystic Cloud Binder, dude. Thank you so much for the fake cards once again. And this one is from Spectre Collectibles. What? I don't know what Spectre Collectibles even is. Spectre Collectibles. Uh, not ringing any bells. Not ringing any bells at all. All right, let's see what this is. Let's see what you guys sent me this time. You're madmen. You're all madmen. All right, so 
Oh, so we have like whatever this like invoice thing is. And then, hey, what is this? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, a few months ago, oh no, 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 this is a letter. This isn't an invoice. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So dear Yugi no, no, a few months ago, I sent you a, I'm sorry, I just realized this wasn't an invoice. I thought it was an invoice thing. Okay, so dear Yugi no, no, a few months ago, I sent you a couple of custom Monarch Field Centers as a thing. Yeah, I use them in Monarchs, those are awesome. Uh, now I now realize I sent the wrong design, well, the card, uh, the wrong cards anyways. So to make up for that, I've sent you a couple of Parallel Seeker Rare Cyber Dragons as well as a surprise one. What? Dude, these are way sick. You know what? I noticed that. Parallel secret. What? Dude, you're a madman. Something to note is that these are made in a different way than the previous ones and allowed me to get custom card backs with my with my shop name on the back. You don't have to show that in the video if you don't want to. Hell yeah, I'm showing it. <laughs> Hope you like them. Uh, Kava Furutman. It's a uh, it's Kave Kave Furutman. I know it's hard to say. Okay, Kave Furutman. Well, thank you very very much, dude. This is way way cool. Oh man, I feel bad for not having the Cyber Dragon deck profile out, but you know what? I, all good things co um, come to those who wait, and you know what? These are really really fucking sick looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna bleep that out. I don't think that is amazing, dude. Oh wait, I don't want. I don't want to show that. I don't want to show that. So wow, dude. Spectre collectibles. That is way cool. So that's you, Spectre collectibles. Wow, that is way way sick. The alternate art. Yes, dude. Amazing. Uh, if you guys did not know, I love Cyber Dragons, but I love the alternate art more than the original. I like this one better than this one. Oh uh, gosh. This is way cool. So I'm sleeving these up. I am definitely using these in my Cyber Dragons. Dude, thank you so, so much. They are, they're way sick. Let's see what the surprise one is. So flip me, all right? So flip you. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. What the surprise is. All right. And flip. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be perfect. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such meme material when like the decks out and like the new link monsters out and everything And I'm gonna have like this. Oh my gosh this field center for the deck. Wow Whoo wow I, Not only did we meme support into existence guys not only but th There's a field center and a deck and everything. I never even thought I never thought in a million years. This is amazing um, I don't okay I think that this should go in a deck, definitely. But I think for now, I believe its place is in the larva, in, in the binder, and I feel like its its place is in the back, in the back, in the center. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that this should be right here until the deck comes out, and then this should be like pulled out when when the deck comes out and stuff like when the new support and stuff comes out and uh, I'll build the deck and play that field center. Dude, thank you so much. I am speechless. This is an excellent addition for now to the Larvae Moth Binder. When I get the deck, I can't wait to show off this field center with the, oh my gosh, with Larvae Moth on it and <laughs> the Larvae Moth deck profile. Oh my God. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> That's going to be really, really funny. And then for the next, the Cyber Dragon deck profile and every Cyber Dragon deck profile moving forward, I have field centers. Wow, dude, thank you so, so much. Once again, I am blown away. You have outdone yourself. Thank you so, so, so much. All right, so for the last letter before that last package, we have another one from Chris Bushka. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say for himself this time. Every week with this guy, he's crazy. He's just nuts. He sent me this, he sent me this obelisk last week, which I guess come from Walmart. I had no idea. I haven't seen him at Walmart, but these are way, way sick. Freaking love it. Like, it's just like, he's been like my little buddy. He just like hangs out on my desk with me <laughs> and stuff. But anyway, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, open this up and see what he has to say for himself this time. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. All right, so what does this say? All right, hey, no, no, congrats on 40K subs. That is so awesome. I still remember when you uh, guest up, uh, uploaded on Galactic God channel, which is so cool that he wished you well on your journey. Dad, question mark? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, speaking of dad, I am glad you liked my obelisk themes, uh, themed things. The movie promos, the dog tag, the keychain statue. I have to apologize to the fans because I don't have anything interesting this week for you. But maybe if you uh, make a Yugi Jesus deck, you could put um, a playset of obelisk. Dad? Question mark. 
<laughs> and a place in a Blur Bay Moth in there? Question mark? Yeah, yeah, probably. Speaking of Blur Bay Moth, I am 100% sure you probably, uh, you, you'll probably say no. But I wanted to ask anyway, would you be willing to part with the larvae moth you ate in the skit? Like I said, I am sure you want to keep it for the binder, but I had to ask. What, what, do you want it? What, what, dude, like, you realize that this thing... <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let me get this straight here. You want not only a larvae moth, but you want a larvae moth that's been chewed up and has my saliva all over it? I mean... That's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's see what else this says. I also have to apologize again for the Mystic Clown Binder. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. I don't care. It, it seems like it was quite a nah, nah, it's, it's whatever. I also uh, am going to send you a card that I was going to have signed by my favorite Yuki tubers. I was obviously going to have you sign it first and largest. <laughs> I didn't know most of the other tubers would sign it until we saw the one signed by my so many tubers, so many others, sorry. I was obviously late to the party and will be even later next week. And as always, be sure to tit slash dick slap that like button and subscribe. Sincerely, Chris Bushka. I mean, yeah, I kind of wanted to keep it for the binder. I mean, it was the 40K sub thing. So I kind of wanted to keep it, but I'll think about it. I'll think, I'll think about sending it to you. Plus that is a little weird. It's like, hey, you know that thing you chewed up and have all your spit on I kind of want that <laughs> I don't know. like I like you dude but that's 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 a little freaky but at the same time though I think it would be hilarious to have like Robbie sign it or somebody just like imagining the look on his face just like, Ugh. like it just would be really really funny so I don't know I'll think about it dude I'll think about it thank you so much for your mail all right so last package guys last package for the day See, what, what, what even is all this though <laughs> so much stuff okay so there's like a lot of cards some cardboard a whole return package not just an envelope a whole return package I'm not even gonna show it because the address is like huge on it okay so uh, sign please sign please keep number what, what is this okay sign please sign please. add to your collection what okay okay this is written on like construction paper or something like bright orange construction paper no idea why <laughs> to Yugi Dodo slash Jesus from Daryl Newman. Love watching your videos. Uh, keep making them, please. Well, if you keep watching them, uh, congrats for hitting 40,000 cock slaps on the sub button. I have added two playmats for your collection. I hope you need them. I, I have also put a fake card in for you to keep. I would love for you to read it out loud. <laughs> read it out loud. Okay. Because what the fuck? I didn't even realize it was fake. It looks so genuine, especially the colors spelt correctly. <laughs> Color with the U. No, dude, we're, we spell things right in America, dude. We speak American because, you know, America's better. It's just it's just better. But, but there, there's also a keep number one for your binder and number two for your next binder, Mystic Clown. Just say, oh, God, I have a, a few cards for you to sign if you don't mind. And if you have spare Gookie or Toon cards in your huge collection. Uh, I sent a Toon, a magician, toon uh, Mass Sorcerer. I sent a Toon Mass Sorcerer to somebody last week. And I have one more Toon Mass Sorcerer. I actually don't have that much Toon stuff besides Toon Gemini Elves. I have a bunch of Toon Gemini Elves. But, like, believe it or not, I don't have that many other Toon stuff. I think I have, like, one Toon Dark Magician and stuff. But, uh, it, you know, I have a lot of Toon Worlds, though. Lots, lots of Toon Worlds. Don't get me wrong. Lots of Toon Worlds. Um, I might have, like, some gooky stuff, maybe, around. Not sure. But, uh, like, any newer stuff, put it this way. It's like, it's, like, a general rule of thumb. Most new stuff... I, I usually don't have, okay? That's just a general rule of thumb. But uh, I would love to make decks with them. As you can see, uh, my Toon Dragon has seen a better days. Oh, okay. So he sent me a Toon... Oh, wow. So, oh, is this going to be like a Toon Blue Eyes, like the Ultra? Oh, I haven't seen one of them in a minute. Wow. That'd be way, way sick. That'd be way sick. Okay. Let's get these all open, though, and see what I have to sign. All right. So I got those open. Let's see what's in the sleeves. So they're in top loaders in sleeves. Hey, hey, hey. Gookie the Great Ogre and Gookie. Gookie. So it's it's Gookie or Gookie? I forget. So Gookie the Great Ogre and Gookie uh, rematch. Very, very cool. So he wants those signed. Oh, Amethyst. Oh, dude, this is obviously fake. Oh, come on now. You know. You know better than that. You know this is fake. Ah, oh, dude, look. Oh, come on. You, you're messing with me. You had to have been messing with me. But the card is Amethyst. It's supposed to be Violet Crystal. But uh, the uh, effect reads, the attack dent building dent of a head of a monster in Creased 300. And then it's like in and then creased separate words. So in creased 
300. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But dude, thank you for the fake card. I definitely don't have that one for sure. Wow, Blue Eyes 2 Dragon. That has seen some better days, dude. That has definitely seen some better days. Toon Dark Magician Girl. Very, very cool. I have an Ultra of her. No, 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 no. I sold... No, I traded or sold my Ultra. Dang, I did have a Toon Dark Magician Girl. But, um, Gogi Headbats, and then the Twist Cobra, and the Super X. Let's get all these signed. All right, so those are all signed for you, dude. Thank you so much for sending those. And then thank you so much for sending these. Like, whatever. Like, I think one of them, I think, I have, I have a suspicion. I think one of them's like the uh, Larvae Moth. I think one's gonna be like Mystic Clown or something like that. Or maybe these are like Petite Moths or something. I don't know. Let's see, let's see what they are. Let's see what they are. So, uh, we have this, uh, detached from the, uh, weird taped apparatus whatever you call that so yeah mr. clouds duh mr. clouds and let's see what this is this is probably like a larvae moth or something it's gotta be larvae moth and let's see what this says uh, come on open up yeah there we go so we have the cocoon oh so he signed him he wants to know which ones are his <laughs> that's awesome attack 3000 he added an extra zero to the attack <laughs> All right, so let's get all these added. All right, so we ha we are we are here. So we finished up that page. So let's start this one with his petite moth and cocoon of evolution, and then let's do the mystic clown binder next. So mystic clown binder. How many binders am I gonna have by the end of this? Oh my god! But this is how far we have gotten on the mystic clown binder. Um, the mystic cloud binder, guys. If you're if you're completely lost, okay. So the mystic cloud binder is something that you wanted the the fans. The fans wanted to start because. I made this joke like after you know larvae moth uh, support was announced you know I I, I made I made fun of larvae moth for years as being like the worst card in Yu-Gi-Oh you know and everything and then uh, we, we finally get support for it I'm like well shoot we need to we need another like really crappy card that, that needs new support so I just randomly picked mystic clown and it just we just ran with it and then uh, yeah the rest is history but I don't think I, I don't think mystic clowns it though like, that's that's part of the joke like I've just picked mystic clown randomly without like thinking really um, but yeah there's there's another card but uh, let's let's go into what, what is this? What what are these, dude? All right. So he said he sent me Zombie World. Um, I think I do have Zombie World. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have a Zombie World. That just uh, that just goes to show. I need to update my uh, structure deck and uh, starter deck mat collection. This one looks like the Magician's Command one. Spellcaster's Command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely do have this one. But thank you so so much for sending these. I mean, the more the merrier. I mean, uh, like always, always the more the merrier. I'm always collecting Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. But dude, thank you so so much for sending these. Thank you so much for sending all of your mail. I'll be sure to get all of your cards back to you. All right, guys. Once again, thank you all so much for sending mail every week thank you so much for liking my videos commenting i mean just watching them everything that you guys do thank you so 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 much you'll never know how much it means to me i genuinely can't wait to see what we get next week i never know what i'm gonna get and that's what's so exciting about this series that is that i just get to open up all the random stuff that you send me and it's, it's just so much fun it's so much fun but until next week guys be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe Subscribe. <laughs> Nee, <laughs>